I'm Pastor Jason, and I'm taking a mission. We'll be right back. Good morning. Welcome to Wake Up, where we... Wake up. I'm, I'm Pastor Scott. I'm Pastor Jason. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm but not. it's okay. Pastor Cause... Jason's my biggest fan. <laughs> he said, he said, Jason's in Gulu, Africa, and I'm not. Thank God. <laughs> it's good to have our show today. I'm glad that you joined us. We got uh, Pastor Dan's with us, right? Well, regular Dan. So Pastor Dan is our youth pastor. I'm, I'm just calling those things maybe in the future. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Someday. Wink. Asterisk. Bishop. Bishop, Bishop Dan, Dan yeah. is here with us. And so what do you got? <laughs> you got a scripture for us today. We do. So I, I was uh, sort of praying about what I want to talk about today. And uh, I, w- I was uh, looking at uh, a verse that is uh, really near and dear to my heart because um, it's one of the inspirations for my song, The Walls, which, um, you know. It is my favorite song. Thank you. I'm not just saying that because you're on the show. <laughs> I didn't wink either. Um, but it's uh, and you didn't cross your fingers behind your back or no. anything like that. No, actually, so. is I think it is my favorite song. But it's but it's that's not an '80s song. No, that's not an '80s. There you go. Exactly. You're the best around. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's good. Gonna... I'm sorry. All right, not sorry. All right. So it, we're in Philippians two, and and, and uh, I love context because I, what I wanted to pull was the um, because of this. This is Philippians two and verse uh, nine. Um, because of this, God greatly exalted him, bestowed on him the name that's above every name. Verse 10, the name of Jesus, every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and those under the earth. And verse 11, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. I and that's, love that. that that's, that's good stuff right there. But setting that up at the, the beginning of uh, Philippians 2, uh, so this is, this is Paul talking and, and um, you know, doing my little bit of research this is um, sort of towards the end of his life. This is the last two years of his life. Um, he's on house arrest. He kind of feels that he's going to go home to the Lord pretty soon. And he's talking to the Philippians, the church in Philippi, which he, um, which he founded. And he's kind of pleading with them like, okay, so you guys, you, you've got the, the spiritual excellence. That's good. Now be excellent to each other. He's like, right? he's like you know, Rufus from Bill and Ted. So, um, <laughs> totally excellent. Yeah. So he's so. saying, "Hey, from my experience in life, I've done I've done a lot of things. And isn't that weird? The older you get, and the wiser you get. Yeah. The more you realize that people. Well, if you do get wiser, I know some people that don't. But if you do get wiser, the older I seem to get, the more important relationships and people become. Yes. And you find out that it's kind of the secret to life. And you want to grab some some young adults, you know, eighteen, nineteen, and go, people." Love, relationships, that's what's important in life. Yeah, no, it's absolutely true. And so he, um, and, and when you, and the other thing too is when you've been in ministry a long time, um, you know, the, the phrase I always sort of bring up is, yeah, I've seen this movie before. And you see a lot of the right. same kind of uh, ebbs and flows and, and pitfalls and joys and struggles right. and that sort of thing. And so just, just a couple of observations. So the beginning of Philippians 2, if you're in your Bibles right now, or if you're not, I'll read a little bit for you. If there's any encouragement in Christ, any solace and love, any participation in the Spirit, any compassion and mercy, complete my joy by being of the same mind. And so wow. what, what, like, what, what's, what's he asking them to do there? He's, he knows he's coming towards the end of his life, right? So that, that's the context. Although yeah. it's, that's the context, it's still relevant for, for any day and age. Yeah. Um, but if he's the example and Christ is his example... He's kind of giving us sort of the, 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 a, a really good uh, example of how, um, how the faith is passed down, how the example is passed down. And that's because we as leaders in ministry, um, and even just everyday Christians, I don't believe anybody's an everyday Christian. I think everybody evangelizes with their life in some way. That's very good. Yeah, but, but, but th- this is what we have to put forth. And so that humility in Christ that he's uh, talking about and being of the same mind um, if we go on to read that, and we don't necessarily have enough time to, I, I could read the whole Bible if you want me to, but I don't, I don't think we got got to do that. But we could do wake up Bible in a year, and yes. every morning we just read the Bible. <laughs> Leviticus is probably going to be a real downer. Show. Numbers, yeah. Numbers and Leviticus is just beget, a... beget, 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 beget. <laughs> That's all. So, <laughs> anyways, so the uh, and what, what he goes on to talk about in this passage, he, he talks about a couple of things that that are, are really important. One of them is. Um, 
He talks about uh, humility or loneliness of mind, and he talks about ambition, but he doesn't talk about ambition in general. He talks about selfish ambition. Right. So the the the, the first thing, the, the humility, the loneliness of mind, isn't that fake groveling thing? Um, it's humbly, and this is from another verse, humbly considering others as greater than yourself. But it's not fake. It's not fake. That is so good. Yeah. Wow. And that's a, uh, you're, you're really laying it on pretty thick. I love it. <laughs> I just don't yeah. You really want me to be a pastor someday, don't you? I do. Yeah. So, uh, and, and, and that, you're right. It's, it's, it's not fake. It's, it's when I, it, it's just like, just like being married. We can just a little sidetrack. You, you have to decide a, a great, somebody told me once, what, what's the secret to being married is you got to wake up and marry her all over every day. That's a really good one. Every yeah. day. Yeah. New bride, new yeah. day. There you lover, go. Just love her Absolutely. like you loved her when the first day you got married. Mm-hmm. And and the same goes for for us with um, uh, with the, the people that we interact with in the church. Yeah. Is every day you have to choose to love the people that are right in front of you, right? I love that. Every day, just love people and go forth today as you go forth into your world, loving, encouraging, building people up. Paul saying at the end of his life, he said, "Hey, this is important. Other people are important. Remember that you are a light." And you win the world, not through shame and condemnation, but you'll win that world by being loving and encouraging. Do you want to pray over their day? Absolutely. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just pray that everyone who is watching and listening to this is blessed. May they be encouraged. May they be filled. May they experience a new touch from you today as never before in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hey, give us a couple thumbs up. Make sure you like it. Get your backsides in church this weekend. Yes. Because church, wherever you're at, makes a great life. Get your family there. Get it all. And uh, we got a great clip that you can watch. And we will see you uh, tomorrow. Be blessed. It's different. It's interesting is Jesus didn't come and condemn, did he? The only ones that Jesus condemned were the ones that were doing the condemning. The only ones that Jesus condemned were the ones that were trying to shove the rules down everybody's throats. Those are the ones that annoyed him. But as far as the sinners, he's like, come on in. Hey, let's go to dinner. Let's go hang out. He was loving and accepting, knowing that it's through love and acceptance that allows me to remain a bright light and an influence and an impact and a voice in people's life that begins to draw them to me so that we can change. And now they want to live life differently. We have to remain salty. 